In this video, we're going to see how to use the photos feature in the MyOpity Zip app to start recording photos or capture photos. Uh, use the photos option on the slide against an uh, against a patient. So I tap photos for dummy patient. Now here you can either take a new picture using your camera or you can uh, use the picture that is already taken from the gallery. So I'll use the picture already taken from the gallery. So I tap on open gallery here. Okay. Now I'll select one of the pictures here. Let's say this one. Okay. Here it was. So uh, I'll keep the quality as medium quality. Now you have you can change this quality to low or mid or high. Like for example, if you are taking a photograph of a investigation report and you want all the characters to be properly eligible you can select high quality or uh, okay if you have a image which is you know fairly uh, readable even at low quality you can change the quality what happens is by changing the quality of the image um, you reduce the uh, reduce or increase the space that is going to be utilized for backup on your google drive okay so i'll keep this as mid quality and say done uh, once I tap on done, I get a prompt to describe this document. Uh, so I have to tag this document into one of the options that are shown or I can also add a new tag to this document. Let's say I want to tag this document as a x-ray. Okay. And then I minimize this here by typing, uh, tapping on the describe document option. So here I've tagged it as x-ray and it is seen here set as x-ray on this date. Okay, now let's say I want to add a few more photographs to this patient that I have taken from gallery. To do so, what I can do is I can click on this gallery, open gallery icon here at the top. Okay, and I'll select all three pictures which belong to this patient, let's say, and say open. So, picture number one, I'm okay with the quality here. And it says, please apply tracks to every selected picture separately. Okay. So I tag this as X-ray again. Okay. I move on. Again, want to describe this. Tag this as X-ray. Okay. And I tag this as X-ray as well. Okay. So all my documents have been tagged as X-rays. Okay. Now let's say I want to add some more information to this particular X-ray. What I'll do is I'll tap here and I'll tag it. I'll add another tag to it. So let's say I tag this as a knee x-ray. Okay. And I go here and I want to tag this as a hip joint. Okay. Now let's say uh, this is a special case and I want to mark this as an important image. And I don't see a tag here. What I'll do is I'll use this add new option here. And I'll add my tag as important. Okay, and say add okay now this x-ray uh, document has been marked as x-ray and important now the importance of tagging is you will be able to search for specific uh, images of this patient uh, using the filter so to use the filter at the top you will see extended menu option here the three uh, dots click on them and use the filter option in this filter if I select just x-ray say done I'll see all the x-rays that are available uh, for this patient all the documents that have been marked as x-ray so here one two say this one I want to see this one so I can easily shift between the different uh, uh, images that are marked as x-ray if I want to further filter them out I'll say show me the one that is important okay and it will show just one okay so this is especially useful if you want to mark certain photos as uh, as uh, images that you would like to present in your case papers so you can mark them important or mark them as presentation uh, photographs so that you can reuse them later yeah so that is how the photo feature can be used in the my pretty zip software thank you